guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another disney villains book review um this one is going to be about the beast within again paper copy sorry borrowed this from the library um i'm gonna put it somewhere up here for you for the rest of the video so that you can see it actually i think i might put it over here instead <laughs> um so that i can lean this way in my chair <laughs> um so yeah let's talk about this one this is a two star book for me i was not very thrilled with this one um i was honestly kind of disappointed with this i also never really viewed the beast as a villain so i'm not really sure why he was included in this series to be quite honest with you I guess he like captured Belle so like maybe you might consider him a villain but I never did so I found that to be a little bit weird um however um it was pretty good it, I really didn't learn all that much new about this that I didn't already know um the odd sisters were involved in this book as usual and we had all that going on, um, which was kind of annoying, but at the same time, I guess it kind of like explained um, the beast a little bit because there is like a witch that curses him um, and everyone knows that. So um, the author had to kind of like incorporate that into the story. And I guess that's like where she kind of came up with the odd sisters and then she kind of just threw them in the rest of the books because of that. Um, at least that's my feelings on it. This is book two in the series, and to be honest, I could have like just skipped this book altogether because it really wasn't that good. I hate saying that about books, but to be honest, like it just it didn't really like do much for me. Um, it was fine. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love the story anyway, so like it was fine for me to reread it. But I was not thrilled with it. And I feel like the author could have gone a whole lot of different um, um, routes with this story. And she could have given us like a lot more that we didn't already have previously. Um, instead of kind of just like giving us what we already knew. And just like writing like maybe like 40 pages about something that we didn't know. Um, I feel like that's all we got was like 40 pages worth of this whole book of like new information. The rest of it was just like stuff that we already knew. Um, so that kind of annoyed me <laughs> about this book, but otherwise, like, it's pretty much classic Beauty and the Beast, Beast story. You get a little bit of new backstory, and that's about it. If you are reading the series, I wouldn't suggest, like, skipping it, because, like, of course, like, I mean, it's good to still read it. Um, but if you're not, like, a huge reader and you like Disney and you want to read the series, then go right ahead and skip this one, because it's definitely not the best. There's definitely a lot of books in this series that are so much better. <laughs> um yeah so pretty much that's all i have to say about this there's really not much to say about this one um sorry this video isn't longer <laughs> uh yeah so that's it um i post every day on my instagram so you can go over there if you'd like to see more content i have tons of content on my youtube at this point so go ahead and watch another video if you feel like it um if you are interested in watching the disney villains reviews i have a whole playlist on my channel that you can just click on that and you can see all of my reviews for that so far i am still slowly working my way through reviews on that so um i've not reviewed all the books yet but i will be getting there shortly and those will all be up at some point i have a i have a weekly video every friday that comes out so make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bell on so that you won't miss out on anything go check out my other content leave me a thumbs up and comment below so that i know there's somebody out there listening and i would also love to chat with you <laughs> um that's pretty much all i have to say and i will see you next time bye